In this tutorial, I'm going to go over abnormal operations for the Garmin G1000 in terms of navigation and communication failures. The first is the stuck microphone. In the event that your microphone gets stuck because of the push to talk key on the flight yoke, after 35 seconds, the Garmin will stop transmitting and an alert will come, and the alert will be over here, and it will tell you either if COM1 or COM2 has a push to talk key which is stuck. The next thing is a COM tuning failure. So the COM tuning failure, which would occur up here in the top right window, would tell us which radio has failed. There's two modes in which you will notice a COM tuning failure. The first one, which is a little bit more subtle, is that your active frequency on the, radi on the radio that failed, so either COM1 or COM2, will automatically change from whatever frequency it is to 121.5. Another option of a failure would be as follows, and instead of going to 121.5, you just get a big red X, and that's more obvious. Now, we could also have an audio panel failure, and keep in mind the audio panel is between the two displays and is not shown on the simulator, but if that were to fail, there's a fail-safe circuit which will automatically connect the pilot's headset and microphone to the COM1 transceiver. And when that happens, speaker will not be available during this fail-safe operation. And finally, there's always the reversionary mode, which is the big red button on the bottom of the audio, audio panel, which will put the system into reversionary mode um, in case of a, a failure on one of the two display systems. So that's all there is to that. Um, one quick thing I can show you is also if there's a nav failure, we see that there's a red X over here as well, just like the COM, but the only difference is that you will either have an X or you won't. There won't be any tuning of emergency frequencies because that doesn't apply. So that's all there is to it, and it's that simple.